Hey, all you American Rod Shoppers, welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and I got such great feedback from the American Rod Shop family about how much they love the willies in the last video's episode. So I decided I'd bring you guys a special episode where I found you 10 classic willies for sale. And this includes the pickup trucks, the Jeep CJ5 versions, and the utility wagons. So sit back. I think you're going to like this video. They're priced in everyone's budget from low to high, and all of them are nice. Also, beginning with tonight's episode, I'm going to be giving away a free Hot Wheels, include free shipping. Every video until this box of Hot Wheels that I found in my shed is gone. That starts tonight, so stay tuned for that as well. And remember, if you see a car in tonight's video that you'd like to check out, the links to these cars can be found over in this video's description. Just go into the description, find the car that you're looking for, click on that link, and it'll take you straight to the ad where that car is at for sale. Now, without any further ado, let's get into these wheelies with number one. 1959 Jeep Willys Pickup, listed in San Antonio, Texas, for $13,000. For sale is a 1959 Willys Jeep pickup with 86,040 original miles. It is in good condition for its age and is all original. This truck retains its original two-tone green exterior paint and interior that matches the exterior. The engine is a 3.7 liter with a three-speed transmission with high and low gears and four-wheel drive. This vehicle runs good and is drivable. The body itself is straight with the usual dings associated with a vehicle from this era, but there is no rust in the floorboards. All glass and chrome are good, and this little truck still draws a crowd wherever it goes. This will be a great one to restore or drive as is. The seller is asking $13,000 or best offer. Guys and gals, if you don't find a car that you're looking for in tonight's video, be sure to check out our other great videos that have already been posted. There are still a lot of great cars in those videos for sale, and who knows, you might find your dream car. Number 2. 1955 Willys Jeep Utility Wagon, listed in Warren, Texas for $5,400. This is a no title mud toy. Perfect for the deer hunter or rock climbing. Brand new, completely rebuilt original motor and transmission featuring the flat six engine and three speed transmission with four by four drive. This truck runs and drives good and everything electrical works. Needs some glass replaced and the paint is the original paint. Comes with an 8,000 pound winch, has brand new tires and wheels, Brand new disc brakes on the front and new drum brakes on the back. Sorry again, there is no title, but asking $5,400 or best offer. Fun fact, in 1955, when Willys was owned by the Kaiser Car Company, it renamed the Willys Overland Wagon to the Willys Utility Wagon. And if you will, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be the notified as soon as these videos drop so that you have earliest access to the cars in the videos that are for sale. Now tonight's non-Google challenge is this. What was the first car to have a padded dashboard? Drop your answer in the comments for fun and we'll see what everybody's got to say. Be sure and don't cheat now. Don't use Google. Drop your best answer in there and we'll see what everybody's got to say. Back to the count with number three. 1947 Willys Jeep CJ2A. Listed in Nashville, Tennessee for $9,750. 
1947 CJ2A Restaurant has a windshield from an M38 or a 3A model. It has original tub, original frame, fenders, and grill. The hood is an aftermarket fiberglass, a little ill-fitting but does work. The frame is well reinforced and custom bumpers have been added. Powered by a 283 small block Chevy with a two barrel and end frame headers, Flowmaster dual exhaust makes this wheelie sound wicked. Custom northern aluminum radiator has been added and all wiring has been redone which includes new Optima battery. New Stuart Warner gauges and custom black seats from a 1970 Nova. Under the seat is a two box on the passenger side. It has tilt wheel, power steering from early 70s Nova, and the integrated blinkers works as well. Tuffy lockable center console and a new full road cage. It has 33 by 12.5 by 15 Wildcat mutters on chrome steelies that ride surprisingly nice. It starts, runs, and drives well, and it is a blast to drive. It does have a small oil leak that has not been diagnosed yet and the temp gauge will creep up when slightly idling on steep trails, but cools back down once you start moving. The seller has not had time to trace down these issues. Also, the winch in the picture is not included. Clear title in hand, 9750 or best offer. Okay, let's look at number four Willys. 1949 Willys Overland Pickup, listed in Riceville, Tennessee, for $15,000. For sale is this 1949 Willys Jeep Overland Pickup Resto Rod. Driven only 15,000 miles since being built, it is powered by a 318 Dodge engine topped with a Holley EF1 Sniper carburetor with the engine linked up to a 700R4 automatic transmission. It has the Mustang 2 rack and pinion steering that makes it a very nice drive. The paint color is black with gray fenders and the interior color is gray with lots of custom touches to the interior as well as the exterior. Take this truck to the car show or use it as a daily driver. It will take you anywhere you want to go. This vehicle comes with a clear title asking $15,000 or best offer. Okay, for number five, let's take a look at one of my favorite type of wheelies. It's the Jeepster. 1949 Willys Overland Jeepster listed in Welland, Ontario for $14,500. This car has had a frame off complete body rebuild. Only thing left is to paint it your choice of color. All nuts and bolts were replaced and it has a new interior. It has had the original four cylinder and overdrive three speed tranny rebuilt and this car runs and drives like new. This is the two wheel driver version of this model. The original white paint has developed a beautiful patina look that gives this car great character and draws a crowd to check it out wherever it goes. It also comes with a skeleton for the top and four side curtains. It does not come with a canvas top, but these are available online. These types of cars continue to rise in price and will be a great investment, asking $14,500 or best offer for this 1949 Willys Overland Jeepster. And guys, like I said, of all the Willys models, this is probably one of my favorite versions. Which is your favorite version? Drop your answer in the comments for fun. We'll see what everybody's got to say about their favorite Willys. Now guys, sit back and enjoy these pictures while I rummage around in the Hot Wheels box and find the next Hot Wheel collectible going to be given away here in just a moment. Remember that Christmas time's not too far around the corner. If you haven't done so yet, please visit the American Rod Shop store. There you can find great Christmas gifts such as t-shirts, coffee mugs, mouse pads, hoodies, posters, and much more. And the sales from these goes back in to support the channel. The link to the store can be found over in the video's description. All right, let's go and give away the Hot Wheels for tonight. This one was issued in 1997, so it makes this little car already, what, uh, 26 years old? 
This is a 67 Camara. It is very nicely painted up with a Hot Wheels logo. Kind of a very hard car to find. We're going to give this away absolutely free. To be entered into win, all you got to be is a subscriber. Then go over into comments and put the number 67 in comments and you'll be entered in to win this little Hot Wheels. Now, we will announce in the next video who wins this Camara. So set your notifications on so that you'll get a notification when the next video drops and you can go in there and find out who won this Hot Wheels. Okay, let's return to the count with number six. 1963 Willys Jeep Overland Panel Truck listed in Grand Terrence, California for $24,500. For sale is this 1963 Willys Overland Jeep panel 4x4 powered by a 350 short block Chevy engine with a 350 automatic transmission. This truck runs and drives amazingly. For great handling, it has had a GM front and rear swap out, brand new 15x10 Pro Comp rims, and 33 inch Wild Peak tires make this truck ride tall. It has been given a new exhaust system, new brake pads, new gaskets, new fluids, a new trans cooler, and electric fan. But the interior is all black and gray with a nice custom headliner. The body is super straight, but off-white paint is not perfect, but still looks great. Comes with a clean title, asking $24,500 or best offer, and interested in trades as well. This body style is interesting as the fact that you just don't really see a whole lot of panel trucks in the Willys versions for these years. Uh, maybe some of them was military trucks, not for sure. But anyway, check this one out. It's rare. It looks great. I love it. Okay, let's go on and check out number seven. I think that this is probably the best deal in the whole video tonight. But let's check it out. 1955 Willys Jeep CJ5. Listed in Elkhart, Indiana for $4,500. For sale is this 1955 Willys Jeep CJ5. It is powered by a short block Chevy 350 with a three speed manual transmission. It runs and drives great and has a new brake booster with new disc brakes in the front. It also has new plugs and wires, a new battery, and a new starter. The older gunmetal gray color paint job looks good and the body is rust free. The mudder tires and chrome steely rims really make this Willys shine. It has an original Levi back seat. It has had new gaskets added around the transfer case. The four wheel drive is not hooked up but the front drive shaft comes with it. It has a new emergency brake cable that is in working order. A lot of other new parts, too many to list. Asking $4,500 to best offer for this 1955 Willys Jeep CJ5. Number 8. 1962 Willys Pickup, listed in Pine City, Minnesota, for $18,500. Selling a 1962 Willys Pickup, a very nice turnkey hot rod with everything gone through. The body is sitting on a lowered S10 frame, so driving is very comfy and sporty. The rear end is a widened 8 and 3 quarter with 5x4.75 bolt and 31 spline Moser axles. Slotted disc brakes all the way around for great stopping power. This setup clearly accommodates for staggered front and rear wheels off of a 2021 Camaro capped with 12 inch wide Mickey Thompson rear tires. Line X spray liner has been added to the bed. Comes with MSD ignition and vintage air with heat for those chilly fall runs. Converted two-speed electric wipers has been added. Retro sounds head unit that looks vintage but plays nicely through the speakers. Also has ceramic window tint to help with the heat. The engine is a remanufactured 350 Vortec with a 4160 transmission that can cruise freeway speeds with no problem. 
This truck gets lots of looks and compliments, asking 18500 or best offer. Number 9. 1952 Willys Overland Pickup. Listed in Little Falls, Minnesota for $10,000. Up for sale is this 1952 Willys Overland pickup with a solid body and no rust. This truck runs and drives great and is a real head turner wherever it goes. The beautiful canary yellow gloss paint and black interior really complement each other making it look just amazing. Restored as a resto rod, this Willie is set on a mid 80's F350 chassis. It has a 400 cubic inch engine with a C6 three speed automatic transmission. It has been driven only 1,000 miles since being built. Wild 37 inch Hummer beadlock wheels and tires really rounds out this great look of this truck. This truck has a clean title asking 10,000 or best offer. Number 10. 1948 Willys Jeep CJ2A, listed in O'Fallon, Illinois, for $12,500. For sale is a 1948 CJ2A with a CJ3A windshield, powered by an L134 flathead hooked up to a 3-speed T90 transmission, a Dana 18-inch transfer case, and Carter 636SA carburetor. Always garaged and driven only in good weather. This Willys starts and drives perfectly with smooth shifting gears and a working four-wheel drive. It has a best stop top with doors, which are not shown in the pictures. It has been converted over to a 12-volt system. It has a high-torque mini starter with key start and electronic ignition. It comes with good Cooper tires, working turn signals, and seat belts. The frame is solid and good floor panels with no rust or bondo. It has new side steps, new tow bar, new floor mats, and a new wiring harness. Asking $12,500 the best offer for this 1948 Willys Jeep CJA. Wow, time has really flown. I want to ask you tonight, what was your favorite car in this video? Which Willys did you like the best? Drop your answer in the comments for fun, and we'll see what everybody's got to say. Hey, and if you haven't done so yet, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. You're going to find out this is a really fun channel, very interactive with all the viewers, and I think it's the best channel on YouTube, but I'm kind of biased. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I love each and every one of you guys and gals. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you till then. And don't forget to check out my other videos. You just might find your dream car in one of those.